All right, here we go. Let's do a little NFL 2K5 on Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day game. We'll do the Giants and the Cowboys. Hi there. Um, so yeah, we we're, we're hopping in here. He's oh, always well dressed. He's Amani Tumor. Fresh off a fifth straight thousand yard season a year ago. He'll definitely be a go-to guy in this one. New York, Dallas, next. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time. Yeah, I love the intros the here, the television presentation. Game. Again, they integrated the ESPN television presentation well, into this game like Dan no Steve. other. Um, there may not be a better Peter sports Peter game ever made than this. I mean, that, that might be a fair statement. And it takes a total package of what the NFL 2 k 5 is. It, it just may be the best sports game you take into consideration. Presentation. The replays, the announcing, the gameplay, even the scaling of the athletes to the field. Um, I was playing Madden the other day, and it just felt like the players felt tall when there was a high point of ball. Like the defense, it felt like they could leap 25 feet in the air. And then the line of scrimmage, even the, the play, like the players felt like not big enough, not wide enough. It was just like, it's just something just not right with that game. Like, it's, it looks beautiful. It's not horrible to play. I, I enjoyed it, you know, enough. But it just, I don't know if it's the scaling or what it what it is. But this game, like, everything is just perfectly laid out. From the scaling of the athlete to the gameplay itself, the, the hit detection, the collision, the physics, everything. Um, and I'm hoping that uh, NFL 2K23, when that comes out next uh, summer, that they basically just take this and upgrade the graphics. Don't do anything else at first. Like, just get this game into the modern system and then run from there. You know? Because only, my only concern would be they come out with a game where they try to do too much. The gameplay takes a hit. Nobody likes it. And then that's it for them, right? Because making games now is so much more expensive that it's not a guarantee that they're going to have, like, three shots at this thing. It's intercepted. Oh, nice. It deflected that into that interception. So that's an animation you're not going to find in Madden. Look at this replay here. It's not the corner that gets the... It's the safety that, that hits it, and then the corner picks it off off that deflection. That is a classic NFL 2K5 type play. It's not just pure animations. It's based on the on the mechanics of the game. Look at the throw. The throwing mechanics of this game are beautiful. I come up on this play aggressively on the ball. I try to intercept it. I end up deflecting it to my own guy. How cool is that? Interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Giants are going to try and capitalize on the interception. Well, this is not a review, so unlike the last game, I'm not gonna talk all the way through it. I'm just gonna try to let you guys enjoy the gameplay. Crosses the field. Just make my, make my commentary as I, as I play it, but I just, uh, I'll point out things if I feel like they need to be pointed out. But Second you guys down. watching this, you probably already know how it is. Oh! Wow. I, that's on me. That's on me. It's not the line. It's nothing else. That's 100%. I was just a very, very bad play. I had plenty of time to release that ball, make it third and, you know, third and reasonable. And I took way, way too much time there. This one deep down the right oh, side. Oh, nice play with the defense. That was a nice play. Challenge Woodson there. Down. Woodson he was a good player. Yeah, he got in there and he smacked that pass oh, Great midfield, it was third fourth and, and 17. Long, and it didn't look too hard. I want to go for it, but I trust my defense right in this game. You know, Dan, that's I don't want to give him a short field. First and second down will get you. I was really bad. That second down play killed me. And that's ahead. not a great point. Fields lines up to punt after the three and out. Fields gets the snap and punts it away. Oh wow, that was that was not great. 
It's going to net out to the, about 30 yards. So not great. We'll not a great start for me. Um, I should have should have been able to make a better play on second down. I ended up having a punt. Not a great punt. Carter throws a heater right sideline and this tip incomplete. Carl Cannon disrupting. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Jackham, Jackham. Blue, 33. Blue, 33. Um, I don't think they tried to run the ball yet. I'm not getting me for all sides. Glenn didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Neutral zone infraction, number 24. Defense. I love the referees in this game too. Like they actually are on the field. You see them throwing the flag. How does how does a game from that was made in 2004? How does a game from 2004 have more stuff than a game from 2023? Uh, a game from 2022. Really short. I almost guarantee they're gonna lose. Let's get everybody up on the line. If they throw it, they beat me. God bless him, you know. Brian goes in I'm motion. guessing hard on that. Gray, 34. Gray, 34. Oh, no, he does Joseph sacks him way back at the 22. It'll be fourth down. William Joseph gets the sack deep in the pocket. Nice. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. I mean, obviously, I don't have the roster update. Um, I just play with the core game. I play really about the game. Pop it in my Xbox 360, and that's it. So I get the upscaled graphics. And, yeah, but I don't have the... It's not the roster, the altered roster that you see floating around online. I guess I could do that. I just I have to look up how you do it for the Xbox. But uh, I think it involves like removing the hard drive and updating the computer or something like that. So I just have a new The pass rush is pretty good. They do have like a 95 defense. I gotta be careful. Because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be behind the chains every time if I don't get rid of the ball quicker. I was on me again, just not recognizing this pass rush is way better than I thought. Throws a bullet to the flat and the reception. Oh, big play here. Big play. Ooh. That's a huge play. It's on Crofton. Let's quickly revisit that sack just to play a go. That was a fantastic defensive play. Um, so, yeah. So, I, so I'm playing with the old you know, the roster of the day, essentially, except for a couple of teams. I did, I did like, edit the names of some of the players. Like, I think I threw on a day of names, but it's not really good. So do a bar Even so Brandon Jacobs was so like, oh, he's the thunder and lightning or whatever, but I didn't even finish so that. Because he wasn't really the thunder and lightning guy. Um, it was him and Ahmad Bradshaw. But I used to bother, like, you know, it takes time to like, do the roster stuff. And it's busy. But I don't mind playing with the roster this day. I mean, you know, um, I'm 36, so for me to play with the roster from 2004, it's sort of like yesterday. I already know most of the players and the teams we like back there or whatever. And I just took a brutal sack. I'm out of field goal range. That's just another bad play by me. Unbelievable. In the backfield. Check it out. Oh yeah, he went right through the O-line and got oh, to his man. Great gosh. effort. That'll be his first sack of the game. Field I hesitated to throw it to, to the tight end crossing over the middle there. It's a slow developing route, and I just another big mistake on my part. Fields takes the long snap and kicks what will be a short one. Smith fields the short punt at the 22. Right down um, at the 22. So, yes, I don't mind playing with the Ross, who's a back man at all. To be before he hardly got anywhere it's, on that run it's back. It's fine for me, but, but for those so who are concerned, there is a way, I think, to take the hard drive out of your Xbox and then update it through the downloadable roster. Personal preference. As far as the channel goes, I've been doing some Xbox Series X stuff. Well, we've got. Gungrave Gore. I just did a video on that. I did a video on Game Pass as an application. 
Um, so check that out on the channel. I don't, I don't ask people to like and subscribe. And I, I know everybody on here does that, and I always find it annoying. It's like if I want to like or subscribe, I will do it. Stop shilling for yourself. So I'm not gonna ask you to do that, but I will say just check out the channel because I have some other content on lesser known titles and maybe less popular stuff that you might find something interesting, like some just general chatter about WWE 2K18 that really doesn't get brought up anymore. It's a totally overshadowed game. Um, like I said, Dungeon Grave Gore, that's a fun game that's on Game Pass right now. I just did a video about that. Um, old school kind of third person arcade shooter, just pure fun, uh, nothing serious. Very gory though, which is cool. Um, what else? I did a thing on Game Pass. Um, I'm trying to think. There's some other stuff out there. I've been putting out a lot of content recently, um, just to kind of catch up on on some months of being pretty dormant with my YouTube. Um, besides what I'm doing for this video, which is recording off my laptop, I do live streams on Twitch. Um, so I actually did Crossfire X on there. Oh, I'm gonna take this all the way. Yeah, buddy, got it. Crossfire X. Um, it's a you know, first-person shooter, like similar to Call of Duty. Uh, so check that out. And search some Sandstorm, a game I discovered about you know maybe five months ago, six months ago. I love that game. Um, that's a first-person shooter, similar to like Counter-Strike, uh, SOCOM, like if those two had a child and put it on Xbox. Um, Insurgency Sandstorm is coming to Game Pass. So you will get the chance to experience this game on Game Pass, so I recommend it. Um, obviously if you don't have Game Pass, get it. He's good. He's good. So, slow start for me offensively. I can't remember the last time I had two drives where I had to punt on a fourth and 20. Um, but I able to, on this third drive, I finally got it right. Thanks There's to a short field and we're ready. interception. Um, Ryan Quincy Carter was not that great. His best season was, was the first year with Parcells in the three. It back at the nine. Uh, which is, I guess what this game was based on, maybe based on all three. Back then it was different, so like this is, they call it 2K5, but it was really made in the 2004 season, which would mean it would be based on 2003 results. So that's how you kind of have to look back, like 2K5 is not 2005, and it's not result of 2004, it's really based on 2003 going into the 2004 season. I don't know why they would do that, but that's kind of how these games were made. Um, you know, I guess they still do it in a sense, like Madden 23 is you know, kind of early for 23, which I actually wish they would just do the current year so that you know, everybody would know, like, okay, it's 2022. It's because football and, like, basketball and hockey, like, hockey and basketball are based across two calendar seasons. But football is always in the same calendar year, minus the, you know, the playoffs and the Super Bowl. So it should be based on the season, right? So I never really understood that, but, you know, whatever. It's not really good. Side note here, playing in Dallas, and I'm, you know, I'm going through the big game, don't Dallas. Uh, this is Old Texas Stadium for the youngins out there. The current stadium, which is in uh, Arlington, this is, this is the old stadium, which was located in Irving, Texas, uh, which is like a little bit north of, of Arlington. So it's a different site, um, and also that stadium had like a had an open roof. It was not retractable; it was just open. So you had like you know day games. You have like that sunlight, and there would be weather, right? Because it was a famous Thanksgiving game against the Miami Dolphins, I think, where they actually played in the snow. So it was some snow in Dallas, and there was actually snow on the field. So obviously now they have a, I don't actually, it's not a track a bullet to the flat and the the oh, I mean, I, oh, good block by the other tight end. That cleared it for the touchdown. Whoa. Oh, wow.
Look at this block by number 82 down the field. Look at him come across. He makes the solid catch and Boom. 82's block on 47. Now that's, I don't know if, do you get that in New Man? I don't know. I, I'm not sure that he's going to make that block. And let me just point out, where is 82 in the formation? So he's over here. So let's watch 82. Let's isolate him. Runs his route. Sits on the route. Sees the play developing. Comes up. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't know if that happens in the third game. That's pretty cool. Every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight That's between cool. him and the end zone. What's the other games today? We got oh Minnesota is playing New England. And Detroit is playing somebody. I mean they always play, but I don't know who they're playing. Is it the Packers? No, they, they played the Packers already. Right? Uh, 49ers? I'm not sure. The ref I, I gets the signal, I, and I we're set. Brian kicks this one away. It's Tennessee. I'm not, I'm not sure. fields the kickoff. I know the Minnesota and Wiggins is the night time, right? Eric Dickerson um, tried to run it out, but the defense so is still a good team. Don't get fooled by. I mean, when you get blown out like 40 to 3 at home, it's obviously it's bad. But don't get fooled. Like, they laid an egg. Minnesota. They're a good team. Because they beat Buffalo on the road. And I'm sorry, I think Buffalo is one of the best teams in the league. So, dude, don't, don't sit on them. Don't. Like, like, Dallas will get overhyped. Minnesota, probably a little underrated. Buffalo, you know. Now that the situation with the division is the way it is, they're going to get underrated. Best thing that could happen to a team like Buffalo is to go under the radar, get in the playoffs, and then make a play. You know, make a run. Um, winning the division and being labeled as you know, best team in the league in November just doesn't mean anything. Get healthy and make a run. Right? And that would be, that's really the goal for Buffalo. Because if you can't... Get it to the playoffs healthy and then compete with the Chiefs, then it doesn't matter anyway. Because that's the whole thing, right? In the AFC, no matter what the records are, can you beat the Chiefs? Also, can you can you potentially get the Chiefs to come to you instead of the other way? Because really, we haven't seen the Chiefs in this era. They haven't had to go on the road in the playoffs and win games. They've been able to, to do it pretty much at home. Uh, because of the record, so I'd be curious to see, you know, if you get the Chiefs to come to Buffalo in, uh, in January, how that would play out for Mahomes. I and mean, not that Kansas City is hot weather or anything, but it's just not the same situation. Okay, that's an incomplete. But that's a that's the kind of throw in Madden that that ball doesn't even get to the to the offensive player. Clearly. It's incomplete because he's out of bounds, but it's not incomplete. Like the scaling, like there was room for the ball to get over the defender's head, and there's still room on the sideline. That's one thing I just can't get over in Madden. I feel like it's not scaled correctly. Like in Madden, I think the defender would be able to make a play on that ball and swat it down. In this game, the defender, like, he can't guard the whole field. Like, he's just, he is what he is, uh, size wise. He's pressing at the line, safety's in the middle, he's not going to overcommit. Oh, we got I got hit as like the uh, I had him. That ball gets released. He's got he's got a great chance of making a big play. Uh, Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Manning passes this one. Oh, he should have caught that. Nice play again by Woodson. Wow, he's on both sides of the field, huh? Oh, that's disappointing. This wasn't a bad throw. It was actually a very good throw. That was a nice play. Oh, he, oh, he didn't touch the ball. That was just a drop. Wow. All right. So we'll get the ball to 39. I mean, this is 39. It's like the ball. And I'm moving the ball that way right now. Anyway. They're not running it, too. If they ran the ball on me, I, I you know, they're just chucking it every play. 
Jason Seymour. Jason Carter was guy. not that kind of quarterback. Football, left no chance for a reception there. Potential Short passes and running is his strength. He had a big arm, but you know, he wasn't like incredibly accurate. He just disappeared too. After like 2004, I don't think I heard. So, I'm not even sure if he stayed in the league or what happened. First down, both tight ends left. Oh, he stayed up. Oh, wow. That was a nice play. That was a really nice play. Give him credit. Carter, he avoided that, that, that sack. Oh, wow. And then he got the ball to Terry Glenn. That's a nice play. That's huge. It flips the field. They're in field goal range. That was a huge play. It's a good thing I didn't take the timeout, too. Because... It wasn't 100% I was going to get that stop, unfortunately. Carter throws a big high oh, it, oh, it got it. Wow. A tackle, tackled at the oh, that was it. Was that, it wasn't really the double coverage. Let's take a look. Let's see this Will Allen, not only shag one on eyes one. the for the interception, but watch. Bryant. Gets a few more. Yeah, just the good play. Great play all around. To react, make the catch, and then get some yardage to boot. You can't coach that. There's still more in a line. Now. Interception uh, of the game and so Brian didn't really have an advantage in going to that ball. That's my little time. The Giants were going to stop the line. Fourth down last time out. We'll he's, see what he's happens taller as player. they start this drive at their own 23 yard line. Hunter makes a play on this one seconds. and forces the incompletion. Not three. Came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. I tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they oh, can I got ball. free. A That's a huge the play right before the half. And the big catch huge is made play. With daylight in front of him. He's in for the touchdown. I don't know what happened there. How are you going to, like, they're pressing the line so hard. Why Lexico am I running the football? Like, obviously, I'm throwing the ball. Right here. There's no safety. The wow. And then really turns on the juice. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to you make know, those end zone catches. He sets a high stand that, for himself. That play should never usually meets it. Absolutely not. That was terrible defense. Here's the extra point, the extra and point good. it's good. Three full touchdowns going in the half. I think I get the ball to half, too. Spoiler alert, this game is over. <laughs> Not giving up three touchdowns. I will say, one thing I gotta say about 2K, right? So, I started out There's struggling signal, offensively. And we're ready. Um, I just wasn't... Bryant I didn't match up well with their defense. I was taking too much time. They have a good pass rush, and I was forced into fourth and long, so I had to park. Um, I played this exact same game, I did not record it, and it was out a week ago. I did Sancta and the Giants with Dallas, and I won the game by one point with no time left in the fourth quarter. It was like, I had to come back, and it was back and forth game. I really struggled to stop them, and I struggled to score. Um, 2K is an even Steven type game. You're going to play this game. Sometimes you're going to blow the computer out. Sometimes you're going to get hurt. You're going to be down. Sometimes it's going to be back and forth. It's just more realistic football. Um, it's not, like I said, there's animations, but it doesn't feel animation driven. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know everything about the coding of these games. But Madden feels like one animation after the other at times. And I know that's kind of EA's thing. And sometimes I think it works. And, and sometimes it doesn't, right? And I think for NFL 2K, it just always felt more loose. And sometimes it gives you the feel of like, well, anything can happen, right? It's how the ball bounces. It's how the players bounce off each other. It's how a blocker doesn't block or gets a block or a tackler makes a tackle doesn't make it. It just feels more loose. And I played the same game and essentially couldn't do anything and struggled. And then I play this game now and I'm up three touchdowns even though I struggled in the beginning. That's sort of what football is, right? 
I got nothing going on. Absolutely nothing. So, I mean, the last drive, the fact I, I don't score there, it's a 14 nothing game, and you're not able to run the football. Usually in this game, I can run the ball. It's okay. Um, and usually I'll break one big in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story this far. The Cowboys are show. certainly losing Best because of it. It's hard time. to win when you play like that. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from script. William Peterson is in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Giants midway through the first, Vishante Shianko found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. The boys later on in the second quarter, William Peterson shows some great awareness here as he gets himself in a position to pick this one off. They strike first and go up by seven. Giants still early in the second quarter, Jeremy Shockey was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 66-yard touchdown for the Giants. Giants up 14 to nothing. Will Allen shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Giants have it off an interception. Plexico Burris came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 77-yard touchdown for the Giants. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys are down big at halftime, 21 to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Eli Manning has been on the So that'll do it from here. Let's we'll send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Um, but that's because I'm not hitting. I have no rhythm passing the ball, really. I just have a couple of big plays. That's pretty much it. And developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Giants will get the ball right, first so here in the second half, it. and they are dominating this game. Currently, and this they is just a little fun on Thanksgiving. Nothing, uh, Let's go down to the field. You know, I'm not doing franchise mode, for, you know, right now. Joyce fields the second Throwing this video together, it's not a review, but just give you more Great insight tackle. for you. You know, I, I mean, obviously, other people are playing this game, but, you know, if you guys are, like, looking for someone who plays old sports games pretty consistently, like and NHL 14, and NHL 2K5, which I'm going to do a video on right after. Um, you know, that's me. I am definitely into old sports games. MVP baseball. You know, I have them for my 360, which makes it easy for me to jump in. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Manning throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Eli Manning is checking. Counter, counter, counter. Another game that got a good response that I that I kept showing which I get, gets no love or attention and it's still to be two. Uh, so I've got to raw to for uh, Xbox original. So I'll do some more on that. Um, that's just a fun wrestling game. It gets severely underrated and basically unknown because it was an Xbox original wrestling game that was a sequel to a game that was pretty bad. So because of that, it just doesn't get the attention. So that, that was unfortunate. For that game. Um, and then actually, it's not the last wrestling game for the Xbox original. The last one was wrestling game 21, which was also not received well. So that game just, the Raw 2 gets lost in the shuffle. Now, I don't have WrestleMania 21 because, as I understand it, it is not backwards compatible for the 360, so I play 
older and Xbox screens only on my 360. I don't have an original really Xbox, and I'm and not going to buy one. Um, so that's why I, I'm not going to be able to take a look at that game. I had it yeah, back in the day. I don't remember it. disliking it so much. I remember loving the graphics. That's probably about it. Um, but yeah, so that... Oh, and obviously ESPN Major League Baseball 2K4. That's another Kiki game. I mean, I'm a lot of this play, but it was so another game that sort of like under the radar a little bit because blockers, at the time the you had uh, well MVP baseball, All-Star baseball, and baseball. Again, so there's just a couple of games that I that I personally enjoy that I think will, that you guys would enjoy too. That you're just not going to find a ton of content on on YouTube, especially in current. Like I'm playing this now. It's Thanksgiving 2022. I'll be playing this Thanksgiving 2023. This is a put away drive right here. Um, finally getting into a rhythm offensively throwing the football. I'm looking at the clock. And I'm about to score another touchdown. And, they, and they're really not doing much of anything offensively. So this is, this is really your classic put away drive. See if I can hit Mr. Well dressed on my teammate. Manning throws this to the end. Oh nice. Room in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. That's the exact throw that I've been talking about. That's the exact play that I've been talking about that I just don't know how to do this in two in that. Because it, you could throw the out route in that. So I'll show you right now. You could throw the out in that in. But throwing this ball to this spot in Madden is very challenging. The reason why is I believe the scaling. Like look at look at where he is now off the line of scrimmage. It's not just that I'm getting open, because I know people will say that they'll say, well he's open, right? That's, that's the point. He's open. It's not just being open. It's the room, right? So right here, off the line, I'm covered, right? He bumps me. Now I'm open. I'm wide open here. Now, in Madden, this is covered. Why? Because these guys can jump up in the air and knock that ball down, or the players are scaled differently so that there's just not as much room. Even though it may look like it, when the play is happening, there's not as much room for the player compared to the sidelines, the out-of-bounds, the back of the end zone, and the other players. In this game, in 2K, when I throw this football, I can feel the difference right away. I'm like, oh, I got room between where I am and where the lines are. Like from this angle here in Madden, I'm like interception or deflection, right? Or, or I'm out of bounds. In 2K, when you turn the camera and look, look at all the space. Beautiful catch, brings it in. Plenty of room on that carpet. Touchdown all day. That's the exact kind of play that I struggle with in Madden. Um, now again, you can run the out in Madden. Like left to right straight, no problem, right? Because he's long, so you can just throw the ball out wide and he'll cross. That's why people love crossing routes in Madden. New Madden, it used to be the slant was the play. Now it's just the, sh the flat cross. Anything that's, that's um, horizontal to the line of scrimmage, people love that, right? In 2K, you can actually work fades. The fade route in 2K is the equivalent of the, the of the, the horizontal out route in that. It's devastating Ryan because it just, like in real life, it's hard to guard people Baker at that step. kind of an angle, especially a bigger a bigger offensive player who has room the on the sideline so he can high point the ball or just box the guy out. And the throw angle too. I mean, that, that throw by Manning, I mean, it's it's just beautiful to watch. The, the whole thing, it's just so well done. Obviously, this game is long over. Um, because they're not, they're not moving the ball too much. I can even switch the players. Oh, man, that was a nice play. So you should have done that in the first half. I'm not, I'm not prepared to stop him running the football. At all. I'm coming at him hard with the rush, and I'm also working downfield defensively. I have no spies or anything like that. So if he runs the ball there, uh, I'm cooked, right? I have no way of stopping that. Should have done that in the first half.
I never went to Old Texas Stadium, but I did go to a couple games. In this one way out left um, and choose up about four on the play. Second down and four yeah, wide I mean, outs in the game. I don't know why they're running the ball so much right now. They're down 28 nothing in the third quarter. Even though it's effective, so I guess that didn't lie, but you gotta throw the football, right? Off, By the way, I believe I just hit the quarterback after the play. I know the rules have changed in the NFL, but the roughing the passer stuff in Madden gets so annoying. Like, look at this play. I think I hit the quarterback after, did I? Oh, uh, I did not. I hit the lineman. I felt the rumble on the controller, and I thought I hit the quarterback, but I didn't. I, hit. I, I just fell in the I didn't, I didn't in this game, you can make contact with the quarterback. You won't, you won't necessarily be flat. There is rough in the pass. I've gotten that personal foul before. But that's because I, you know, I hit late. <laughs> I'll admit it, I hit late. That's going to be a measurement. They didn't give you the, the play right away. They're actually going to come out and measure it. I think he got the first down just based on where he fell. Uh, oh, he's a little short. Fourth, fourth and inches. Oh, they gotta go for Number it, right? One, oh, they're punting. The run, wow. Who's the coach uh, at this time? Oh, it's Parcells. One, yeah, you gotta go. You're down twenty nothing. Why are you punting? That's like just totally conceding the game. That, that doesn't make any sense. In Madden, they would have gone for it because now they program Madden to be like how coaches are now. They go for it all the time. Coaches now are stupid. They go for everything. They like they think they're playing that. The coach is the That was a beautiful throw. That wasn't an adjusted fade route. That was a natural. Uh, that was a natural route from the game itself. Um, also, in this game, you could only adjust one route at a time. But that was actually that was just me running the play as it was. I didn't adjust anything. I could just see how open it was from even my the view I had. That's a beautiful throw. Does anybody else watching this real like just feel like damn like the throwing mechanics in this game also look a little better than that? It's a little less herky jerky. Like look how smooth this is. See how he turns his ankle. Look at the pivot. The ball coming out. Beautiful rotation. Isn't this just beautiful? Like this this is exactly what like a high level football looks like. You know. I don't know, like, I, I, I think this is just so well done. So, I don't know, this is just me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a fan of this, this whole thing. But you want to see the, the yard line instead of the play. I'm still throwing the football a little bit. Yeah, I want to get my points, boy. I'm going to fix my completion percentage, too. It's embarrassing. Throws a bullet to the flat, and he's on target for a gain of five. There's no aggressive catch versus play, um, possession sure catch or anything like that in this game. It's just catch regular catch. But the the receiver the will go into the motion needed to make the play. Like that. that. I mean, you could control the receiver and time a jump early or something like that. Um, that was a terrible pass by I was announcing that I was all on that I had him wide open. I haven't thrown a pick yet. I probably just jinxed myself. Okay, off the line of scrimmage, see this? X is a uh, tumor, right? I'm adjusting him. I'm going to run I'm gonna run the fade with him because no one's on him. It's almost like a two-on-one. The safety has to cover me because there's no corner covering me. And I can fit that ball in before he gets there. They get the first on third and long. Well dressed, Amani Tumor. That's Boomer. And that's the other thing about this game. Uh, Chris Berman will actually say, like, he'll say lines like that. Well dressed, Amani Tumor, and I, I kill you, and stuff like that. Like, he has a personality to go along with just announcing. So you feel like you're watching television because he's reacting to the players. It's not just like a robotic naming. Like, he actually reacts to what's going on and has little nicknames for certain players and stuff like that it's it's just so well done in the presentation it's just nothing beats it like i said it could be the best sports game ever made um just considering what you don't get in the current games it's amazing Manning 
throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught at the 32. That's That's the bring up first down. First he brought it, added a little bonus track onto that album with a nice move to get a few more yards. What a play. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. That's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. First down. Oh, there you go. Wow. Who are the Jets playing this? Oh, they play the Bears at home. Maybe I'll do that next. Although I do want to jump to NHL 2K. I've been saying I was going to do a video on that for a long time, and I just haven't. And that's, that's on me. I, I got distracted by my Xbox Series X content that I wanted to put out. So I, I will do that next, actually. I'll jump off of this into hockey. Um... Because I have, I, I did, I wanted to do the Gun Grave thing from Game Pass, also just because I was just doing content on Game Pass itself, uh, which is up on the channel now. So I will actually do a video for NHL 2K, um, NHL 2K5. It's also ESPN's, you know, game. This is a, this is again the Sega 2K series. At this point, is fully integrated with ESPN. So 2K started out on its own, and then as of 2K2 or 2K3, they started integrating all these games into the ESPN family because they got the license, and all of their games became ESPN. So then from 2K3, 2, 4, and 5, all the games are headlined as ESPN 2K. So that's sort of the, the lineage of the 2K series. Um, and then, of course, they lose that license after 2K5. Um, and then they really they don't gain it back. And 2K, uh, ESPN switches over really to EA. I think mainly because of what happened with the Madden games. But uh, even but then EA doesn't use it except for in their NCAA football game um, and their NCAA basketball game. They don't integrate it until the later live games. So, wow. Lineman going to get a touchdown? Uh, yeah, but that might be coming back. Are they going to hit me with, like, a rough in the passer or something? Holding. Oh, wow. Yes, I will decline that. Wow. O.C. Before things were O.C., uh, board line, it was O.C. Here's the extra point, and it's 42 good. spot here. And think about how this game started for me, too. I didn't think I was going to get 42 points. I actually thought it was going to be a tight game. Like I said, I played this exact game a week ago, and I struggled. I actually played it two two times. I think I lost to them the first time, and then I played it again. And I was playing with my created quarterback, who's like a 99 everything, and I could beat them. And then the second game I played, I had to scratch out the win. Um, if you see my video on ESPN Major League Baseball, it's the same thing. The computer in that game is very good. They hit their home runs, they score runs. It's hard to pitch to them. So because of that, it's just usually it's tight. Um, NHL 2K, I could beat the computer fine, you know, but it's, that game also, like, they're not bad. Like, they move the puck, they get their shots off, and you just gotta watch because you're gonna take, there's penalties are taken in that game a lot. Um, it's a physical game, it's arcade style hockey, but penalties still run rampant, like, there's a lot of them. I was almost intercepted. This is, he's just throwing the ball up into coverage. Left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you we've seen a number of good bit. defensive plays from this squad. Sure we'll see if they can keep it up though. It's a pitch in the shutout, man. Um, Keyshawn's having a good game. Carter rifles it out. Wow, another interception? It's like all or nothing for this guy. Down at the 43. Is that, is that, that's his fourth, right? Yeah, and they're moving the ball, too. Dan, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to it's make like the triple grab. coverage. There. Got it. 
The Giants offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably look to take time off the clock. They will start at the 43-yard line. Glover tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, come on, Tiki. Come on, man. Now. He's going the wrong way. Oh, horrible. I was waiting for uh, for him to clear, for so my guy to clear, wider. and I just got way too greedy on that. Obviously, that's not a play. One thing with this game that's a, a huge glitch, though, you can't throw the ball away. If you throw it away outside the tackle box, they actually call a penalty. If you throw, there's actually no way to really throw the ball away. Oh, nice catch. Bruce Thornton chases his man down and gets him before the marker. It's worth another look. Yep, he lets some yards get by, but he may. Let's lock him down now, dude. Throws a bullet to the oh no, that's a pick six. No Horrible decision for me to throw that. Yeah. That ball. That's yeah. I, I threw that to the. I did not think he was going to be able to catch up to me, and I was going to have a walk for a first down. But I really should have waited and done something else. That was a bad decision. Right. Oh, it was a shutout. <laughs> it's good. They're going to do an onside kick? So they're running the ball in the second half, but now they're going to do an onside kick? Down 42 to 7? Bounces it up. Carter gathers it up at the 45. Onside kicks, we know back then, different rules, so you could actually rush up and, uh, it, it's, this is not like the current rules of kickoffs where you have to be stationary and all, it makes it almost impossible to recover an onside kick, that's not the case in this game, so, it's just a very different style, so you can recover onside kicks, and remember how this game is played, the way the ball bounces, literally, um, plays are there to be made. It's not like the current game where you feel like it's just sucked into Second the ground or something. Right? You, you know, you could go up and whack a guy and the ball pops loose. So it's it's pretty pretty well done. They're calling timeouts like they're still in this game. I don't understand this. Where was this urgency before? Third down, one man back. No dice, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Amani Tumor tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Manny unloads this one oh, to the left, and oh. it's intercepted. That was really I should have thrown it that hard. I was waiting for I really wanted two to get open, but... All right, so kind of undressing myself down the stretch here is some not so good well quarter. But it started badly in the game. But everything in between is fine, so... Obviously, the game's over. First down, the clock is stopped at 138. He's got 11 to 23, but he's throwing five picks. It's all or nothing. Carter throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. William Peterson did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Number 14 makes the catch out to the... a heater and it's completed at the 45 first down the two receivers to the left oh. Glenn catches his left sideline and gets the 
first. Carlos Simmons gives it his all on this play hand, but it is too little too late. Carter fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. The clock continues to wind down. Gets the sack, and the clock will continue to run. Third down, 13 yards to go. Peterson makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Probably just throw it in the end zone. Just see what happens. There's stuff in the lose. So. Carter rifles one oh, straight to the end zone and it falls sometimes. incomplete. They will turn the ball over yeah. on down. Ineligible receiver oh. down the field. Number 68, offense. Oh, okay. Penalty is declined. I thought I hit the quarterback late. I really did. I thought that was what they were going to say. Just because the timing of the flag. The Giants I mean, will start this drive now. deep in their own territory yeah, with the clock at that. 30. Three seconds left, three timeouts. Burris makes the catch oh. on the right sideline and tries to. The Giants take their first timeout. 22 seconds. Oh, it's crazy to think pro athletes. 20, that was an eight there, second play. I just thought like 40 yards. yards. <laughs> I like in real life, it would take me like 10 minutes to get down the field to do that. Oh man, it's good. Oh, the interception was a flag. It was a flag on the play. You might get past him. Nope. Nope. Oh, I thought there was a flag. Oh, I thought they threw a flag. I was just forcing it in there. Oh, man. What a bad way to end the game. They have timeouts, right? They just spiked the ball? What is going Third on? Down, one man back. There's Keyshawn. I saw him here. He comes off the line. See if they call anything. Yep, he did. He stopped that clock early, too. They froze it on one second when the play was still happening and the game should have ended. But I know they can't end the play on it. End the game on a defensive play. First down five wide receivers so take the time. field. Just because I chipped him? I'm allowed to hit him at the line. Carter lets it go deep down the right side and it's incomplete. Alright, there you go. And that is kind of an ugly game. For this one. The Giants um, not on top. Definitely not the prettiest. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Giants upset Dallas. I'm going through the big dude. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Giants stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Eli Manning would find his target on this one. A 25-yard play that set up a giant touchdown. The Giants have opened it up and now lead by 28. The ball at the 23. Jeremy Shockey had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 22-yard touchdown for the Giants. Cowboys losing by 35. O.C. Umeniora shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. They've opened it up now and lead by 42. The boys again have it. Frank Walker would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Cowboys back 42 to nothing. Dexter Diet Coakley would come up with a huge play here 
because he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Cowboys. The Cowboys close in a little. They're now down by 35. The Giants, after getting an interception, this time at the 40-yard line. That win shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The boy, after getting an interception, Cowboys back by 35. Quincy Carter would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Giants back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. Plexico Burris is going to try to stretch the field here. He's going to make them pay. And that's where we'll leave this one. Giants serve up a blowout, 42 to 7. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Eli Manning is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You played great today. You just made it look easy tonight. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, to be honest, we just believed in each other and we believed in what we were trying to do as a team. Man, Force smiled upon us and we were able to triumph in the end. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time. All right, guys. So that's uh, that was NFL 2K5. These are final stats for me. I feel like uh, not great. 16 to 28. Ugh. Four touchdowns, three picks. Just nothing special there. Um. All right, as a little bonus, why don't we just take a look at one of the NFL ESPN 25 things. So, let's see. Go on to the ice the bowl. the system underneath the turf failed, the minus so 13 degree star temperature froze the, the playing field cold, solid in the fourth quarter. Now, uh, the one bowl. of the most exciting finishes in sports history was not seen on television. The Warriors, wow. Is that the only one they give the Jets? One where they lose. Merry Christmas. Mm. The longest game in NFL history at almost 83 minutes was played Christmas Day, 19. The longest game in NFL. This is a cool move. Like I said, you could do situation and then it, and you could create any scenario you want. But this is cool just because like there's a historical context and they give it to you for all these uh, scenarios. Which I think it's fun. Um, just just adds to replayability again. Just more stuff to do in the base game, in the media game, or outside of like, you know, seizing a franchise or anything like that, which I think is fun. You know, in the current game, I guess they have situation in practice, but that's not so this would be the Bob Lucy uh, perfect I think that's what it's at, it's in the Chiefs. I think that's what it's at, That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Number 12 unloads the Oh, I got away. It's complete at the 42, 20, 10, and touchdown. Awesome. So I should have tied the game, but now I got to play some defense though. Number 42. Because I left a lot of time in the clock. I mean, you don't need typically you don't need four minutes to to drive down the field if you're gonna drive, you know. So this game's gonna be all matted up, but you know, have to play some D. Now the point after, yes, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number nine kicks this one away. Number nine fields it all the way back at the six. Stop at the 22. 22. Number nine tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. 
the Chiefs send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Number 21 uh, gets the toss and heads up field. Finally, and check out all the yards he snarks up here. I know yes. nothing about the 70s. First down with Chiefs. the tight end. I know that they, they won the Super Bowl in 69. Number 13, rifles it up the side, and it's caught at the 40. Number 13 Upset. plays this one in beautifully. <laughs> Got to see it game. one more time. Right on the money, the Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so mm -hmm. accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 no, yards away. 69. Jets, the Jets won 60. The Super Bowl took place in 69. Number 59, the ball carrier, and that's one more first world series. And I believe they the put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Also won the NBA championship that year as well. Oh, that will bring up second down. Oh, Number 13 puts his arm into this one, and it's complete for a first down and a hole. I don't know who that guy is, but. <laughs> That was a very nice catch. Because he had to turn back Let's have another look. into the field to make that catch and stay in the They're just walking down it. It's no wonder. He's down. This is easy for them. The Chiefs are just marching. It's like the current Chiefs. Is that Pat Mahomes? Oh. And it falls incomplete. I mean, if I give it up quickly, right, I get the ball back. Uh, if I can hold him to a field goal, I can drive him and win it. So that would be the goal. Number 21 gets the call on second down oh, and moves about a yard here. Number 51 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second no, tackle so far. Too bad for it. This guy is really good. Number oh, 51. nice play. Sack. You can hit along the field goal. 47 yards. 47 yards back in 2004 is not quite at the gimme that it is now. People assume everything in the 50s. And that kick is... Wasn't true at the middle of the game. So we got the field goal and I got to do this again. Turn this up. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. Down three, three minutes left. And he's a little bit more clock this time. Number eight blockets this one deep. <laughs> the goalpost. The Dolphins had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 20 yard line. Number 27. Oh, get off the line of scrimmage, bro. The hell, I got stuck behind my line there. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I gotta get something there. Oh, we gonna make this third manageable. Don't get stuck. They couldn't connect on this one. Here we go, 39. Number 42. Had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. You know, normally he's pretty sure handed that. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in there dying. Let's six. watch. Number 12 throws this on a rope and caught. However, it's short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Twish! Black 50, twish! Black 58! Twish! Black 58! Number 83 can't hold on to it. Unbelievable. He he drops that pass. Play on four. These guys are sure. The Chiefs offense takes the field with time. And they had the right down. play. He's wide open. You gotta make that catch. Down. What they have to do now is, well, I guess I could try to hold him to a field goal again. He gets a touchdown. Number keep 21 makes his first wow. carry of the game. The Dolphins take their first time up. That's a damn good I'm gonna try to run the clock down. They should be going aggressive to try to get a first down now. So they're just trying to run it out straight. So I can make a stop here, force into the field goal. I don't make that tackle. Number 21 gains eight yards. Number 21 gains a lot on this play. Number one. 
I did get the first down, so now I have to start over with two timeouts. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. And obviously you can't give it a touchdown, but that's the main thing. Number 21 carries it for the third time. The Dolphins will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down from the shotgun. They might be tempted to throw the ball at third now. Let's see. Might have a miracle left in there. True miracle here. Rips him. The Dolphins take That's a time out. Time out. It's going to be third and long. Third and long. And bunch of receivers out there. It's defense is expecting that, that and they it's go to nickel. Because if they get a touchdown, it's over. Goes in motion. First down, it's over. You can only do that. I have a shot. Number 21 carries it yet again and gets taken it's down. Flag. Right short this is a market. huge penalty. Clipping. Number 24. Offense. No, I'm going to decline that. The penalty is declined. I'm going to the ball now. They're going to kick the field goal. Fourth down and the field goal unit. That's is also on big because the, the penalty stops the clock. So that's like an, that was like an extra timeout. Okay. That's huge. Number eight from twenty. Right, kick is good, but it's a six balls game. Minute forty-eight, I get a second chance. A clean kick. Second chance to make a first impression. How about that? Huge. That penalty was huge. Stops the clock. They would have run out more clock. Number eighty-three decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the twenty. Nothing. Number 83 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Dolphins will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at one. Nice catch. Keep Number 81 catches the left sideline, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Switch. Black 79. Switch. Black 79. Number 12 throws this one deep down the right sideline, and the catch is made for the nice first. Catch. The clock continues to tick down. Number 42 had a defender close by, but was able to bring. Clock is still moving. Hey, I like those I steps. Have no time Great receiving yards. I don't need to spike the ball yet. Oh, buddy play! Touchdown! With 58 seconds left. Wow, I did that almost too quickly. Beautiful throw. Guys, we got wide open on that fade route again. He bobbled it too. How about that play? He bobbled it and held on. Falling into the end zone. Got to just kick the extra point here. Thirty-one, thirty, but now I got a fifty-eight seconds. I got to play defense. Remember, I can't give up anything. No field goal. This is this is big. There's the signal, and, and that was ready. not the best kickoff. Number nine kicks a short one. Oh, kicked it to the twenty. Come on. Number four. I gotta hold him here. Don't give up the field goal. The Chiefs start this drive of the game pretty well in their own territory, and the clock at 55. Number 13 zips it to the left side. Nice play, and if they can't connect, the flexion's gonna be second. Number 24 did a beautiful job on that. Ooh, palms are sweating here. This is what NFL 2K is all about, right? Potential for some nice yards. Anniversary mode. That will bring up second down. Second down, empty backfield. How about this too? When you play these anniversary mode situations, sometimes it becomes its own situation. Because you know, it's supposed to be one drive basically. And now it's turned into a back and forth. Don't worry, for those just joining, you'll get the recap on uh, number Oh no, he made the catch! They're in field goal. Oh yeah, they're in field goal range. Oh my god. First down, two receivers to the left. They have timeouts? Yes, they have all three timeouts. Oh my god. I don't want to rush him. The clock continues to run. 
Oh no, that's some music for the most. They got it. They got it. I can't stop the clock. Oh, this is gonna be the last play. Are they not turn the clock? Want to talk it over and they take their first time All up. comes down to this. First down, 10 yards to go. Two seconds, 39 yarders. That, that's easy. Oh, man. Number eight kicks from 39 yards out and oh, they take the wow. lead. Wow. Disappointing loss. Snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick and it's good. Three points. What a way to oh, end the game God. and what a way. Oh, I didn't take enough time off the clock, honestly. And that that's really what happened there. But anyway, that's NHL 2K. I'm sorry, NHL 2K. The NFL 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 history, almost so no Merry Christmas. Christmas. Uh, blew that. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's cool. A lot of stuff. I mean, some of the stuff kind of dates you, right? Because, I mean, even I don't really know all these plays. Um... The top defensive team in the league, the New York. Hey, this is NFL 2K5 again. Some gameplay here. Wow, this is going on a minute. So I'm gonna cut this video off and probably jump into NHL 2K5, which I've been wanting to do for a while. Check out the channel for other content. I got some good stuff about Series X stuff, including some games off Game Pass and Game Pass itself. Alright, thanks guys. Always having fun here in the Cold Arcade.